The TikTok nurse who essays her patients is only getting filthier. Posting TikToks about stretching out her patients and giving them pleasurable prostate exams. So fasten your seatbelts and get some protection because it's about to get messy. Alright guys, welcome back baby to the Jerry and Curtis can TikTok get day. At this point, it almost feels impossible to escape the TikTok freaks. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you remember Nurse and Sarah, the wonderful nurse who saves lives and will also jack you off. But 80% of the time, it's not consensual. I mean, you should ask people permission before you touch them with that creepy hands in the butler hand. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna touch you with my strong hand. <laughs> Oh, he made a joke about someone with a deformed hand. Yeah, well, cancel me. I'm not just, just like, like the, the rest, rest of, of you. you. I'm, I'm stronger. stronger. I'm, I'm smarter. smarter. I'm, I'm better. better. I am better. Anyway, nursing Sarah, for those who haven't seen my last video, which has now reached 100k, thank you very much, guys. But she's basically a nurse that posts TikToks showing very inappropriate actions that she does during her work hours. And the things that she acts out in her TikToks, if she actually does do these things to her patients, well, that would be S.A. <laughs> this is one of the TikToks that originally got her account off the floor. So there's two of them, but it's actually the same person. I've already explained this once in my last video. And as we can see, the caption is during the TikTok. The patient has morning wood again, but we have to stay professional. Ask him if we can see it. What? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I know you've broken three ribs, had a collapsed lung and snapped your collarbone in half, but <laughs> let me see that cut. Guys, under no circumstances should a nurse ever ask their patient to see their meat, especially if it's hard. I mean, you know, unless of course the patient has split his bollock in half, then that's fair enough. But I'm pretty sure that sums up the stigma that she's running with on her account. You know, she posts a lot of thirst traps and I'm just confused because you're a nurse. You're meant to be saving people's lives. Poor Burnaby's in the back over here with a broken ass toe and you're over here bouncing on top of a mannequin with no arms or legs. So you guys comment down below and let me know if this is the kind of thing a nurse should be doing. This happens when I'm clumsy at work. Monkey emoji. I mean, that is just hilarious, isn't it? Accidentally injecting yourself with 10 milligrams of morphine, then pretending to be ripped. <laughs> Peak comedy. And why on earth did she put the monkey emoji there? Didn't realize being ripped was such a cheeky thing to be a part of. Second of all, a trained nurse would never drop a syringe on themselves. For next time, got a bit of advice for you. Just don't hold it with your creepy hand. In fact, why would you ever hold anything with that hand? <laughs> Especially a syringe. It's impractical and unusable. That's just like me trying to dice some onions with a large knife while using my elbow. But in this video, ladies and gentlemen, I've got a list here of some of the new TikToks she's posted, as well as the ones I didn't cover in the last video, which are, you know, considerably worse. I mean, this nurse even threatened to unalive us. Yeah, my cock's so powerful, just bursting my shorts. But take a look at this next TikTok where she seems to have some sort of man juice on her face. The patient couldn't hold back, so he just ripped right through it. So what, you mean to say that this patient's meat was so vigorous that it tore right through his jeans? <laughs> That's a pretty powerful c***. Running through the crowd on a busy street Need to find some air in Firstly, whoever nutted on her Definitely nuts way too much throughout the day. You can tell by the low sperm count. That's a Warwick Davis c shot right there. What? But let me ask you something, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think this nurse does when a patient is recovering from a coccyx fracture? Well, you guessed it. Let's take a look. Doc, never talk about patients having morning woods again. And what happened? Did she manage to lose her arm as well? <laughs> you dare disobey me, Coraline! Holy crap! That dude just lost his dick! I mean, if he wasn't in pain before, he's definitely in pain now. I mean, I'm not sure it's entirely appropriate to body slam your patients. I mean, what kind of hospital is this? I mean, a nurse is meant to aid their patients, not cause them some serious damage. And the best part about all this is that this is meant to be perceived as a thirst trap TikTok. Oh yeah, because we all find it really sexy, ladies and gentlemen, when a woman cannonballs out groin. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if I may speculate, I believe this woman, this nurse, had seen my last video because recently she posted a TikTok about giving a prostate exam. She's never mentioned anything like that on her TikTok account before, until my video was released. Hey, eh? come on. But ladies and gentlemen, we've been through some other light-hearted content. Now we're gonna go downhill a little bit, where things start to get creepier and creepier. Not only does she threaten to tase us, yeah, a nurse is threatening to electrocute us. <laughs> she also talks about, you know, moving into our rib cages, which, <laughs> you know, whatever the hell that means, but I do feel like a threat has been made against my life, so I'm slightly concerned about the next one. Forget the talking stage, I'm moving into your rib cage. Of 
always wanted for a woman to tear my rib cage apart and climb inside of me. Oh. I mean, I guess what she's trying to say is that she's gonna burrow herself inside of us, just like Han Solo did in Empire Strikes Back. But it does beg the question, is she a real nurse? And if she is, this is extremely problematic. Guys, she's got people's lives to save. And she's in the back room making sexy TikTok videos. Mr. Price, please report to emergency surgery. If that's Mr. Price to emergency surgery, thank you. Like, really? Is that the level of healthcare we're on today? And if she actually isn't a real nurse, some people think she is a real one. So all she's doing is painting a bad name for nurses. Guys, real nurses don't do this. They work very hard around the clock saving people's lives. I mean, you know, where would you even find a nurse, I guess, you know? You know, what hospital? What, what, what city would you find one in? Uh, yeah, you know? Jerry was asking. That, that, that was Jerry. He, he wanted to know that. Dating me is easy. You just gotta reassure me you like me every two minutes. Okay, so what you're saying is that if we don't reassure you every two minutes, you're gonna taser us to death? So, so you're the kind of nurse that puts their patients in hospital? I swear patients were meant to leave the hospital. Second of all, I don't even know if it's appropriate to call that a taser. I mean, it looks like a piece of Robocop's leg. So I'm gonna do a background check on this woman. See if there's any bodies turned up in the last couple of months wearing a hospital robe. Either we are getting married or I'm turning off that machine. <laughs> now she's saying if you don't get married to her, she's gonna turn off your life support machine. She's literally gonna kill you. <laughs> this isn't the kind of nurse that gives life. She takes it. <laughs> it's the most fucked up situation. She gives patients blowjobs and then kills them after. <laughs> I wonder if she turns off the life support machine with the strong hand. <laughs> just out of spite of the last thing the patient sees is just the hand reaching over to turn it off. <laughs> oh, dead man, that's so dead. <laughs> It's the worst we're gonna go out. I mean, it's literally death by creepy hand. You have been slain by the strong hand. <laughs> you have been slain by the strong hand. <laughs> Whoa, what's happened? Curtis, you changed clothes? Yes, I have, alright? I do actually shower, so fuck you. But I do just want to say, before we continue with the video, subscribe to the channel because, guys, we're on 98.7k. Almost on 100k. Guys, this is the video. This is the one that will get us to 100k. I'm proud of us. Our family has grown. We've we, we've grown together as people, and I'm so thankful for it. So, guys, hit the sub button if you are new. If you like this video, you'll probably like my other ones. So, thank you to those who subscribe. Comment down below, letting me know. Turn on bell notifications, and let's get into the next diabolical TikTok. Stretching out the patient until he starts screaming. Fuck! 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 Oh right, yeah. And uh, just want to know real quick, what exactly are you stretching out? I just want to know for, you know, informational reasons. I mean, as a patient, you'd never walk into a hospital and expect to be stretched out. You know, perhaps I'm just dirty-minded, but to me, it sounds like she's stretching out his anus. It's just my daily work, so I get used to it. Hashtag HUD. What, what, what has the HUD got to do with it? Are, are people stretching each other out in the HUD? I don't think so. <laughs> if I ever get in a car accident, I won't be going to this place, all right? It's not a hospital. I don't know what it is. It seems like some sort of sex dungeon. But I would rather bleed to death than be stretched out by her. That just that doesn't sound right, does it? What, what about this is right? And I think her ideology of what fame should look like is reposting the same TikToks over and over and over again. Because what happens when you post a controversial TikTok? Well, get loads of views. And how do you replicate that? So you can see here, she posted this TikTok several times, all because it got a bad reaction once. Just one time. And she reposted about 20 times. I think all of this, you know, just to promote her crappy OnlyFans. So, you know, we'll take a look at that in a little bit. See if she's posting anything new on there. But for now, let's take a look at the next TikTok that she posted. But since she's a nurse in training, ladies and gentlemen, I think it would be very valuable for us to learn some, you know, wisdom from her. Let's see how she takes care of older patients. Because sometimes older patients can be difficult to deal with. So let's learn what the best way is to take care of them. I mean, it can't be that bad, right? <laughs> Surely not. Right? What it feels like to be a 21-year-old girl dealing with a 40 to 50-year-old patient in hospital. All right, brilliant. We're going to learn some stuff, finally. All right, so here we go. Oh, okay, stroking his head. All right, we'll go along with it. Uh, caressing his hand now. Is is that necessary? Oh, oh, brilliant. She just <laughs> she just jerked him off. Is it, Sorry, is that, is that part mandatory then? Oh, right, okay. So next time I put my granddad to bed, I should... Yeah. I haven't got too much experience in the nursing world, ladies and gentlemen, and this woman clearly has more experience than me, but I'm gonna go with my gut on this one. Something doesn't feel right. I don't know, maybe it's the fact that she caressed a plastic mannequin, or could it be the fact that she used her strong hand to jerk it off? 
I mean, how is that even possible? I, and even if it is possible, surely that would be like, you know, mildly uncomfortable. Yeah, you can imagine, can't you? Because, you know, the... But it just seems like she can't stop. You know, she talks about these things as if they're real life events, which if she did do those things, she'd be essaying her patience every single day. I mean, why would you even want to grab an old bloke sausage anyway? Do you know what I mean? It's not even as if it's necessary. She just woke up one morning and was like, ah, what's that? New, new old man in ER? <laughs> What's that, heart attack? Well, let me just uh, give a quick little tickle to the old boy's helmet real quick. Patient is asleep, you know what that means. Yes, I do know what it means. It means to leave the patient recover from his motorcycle accident. Waiting for him to wake up with a morning wood. Oh my god, Jesus Christ, you absolute filthy pervert. Ooh, what's that, patient with morning wood again? Now, from my expert opinion, I think, I think you need to be sectioned. <laughs> Me trying to get the patient's blood pressure down because the doc will come in any second. Oh, so it does seem like there is actually medical content on this profile. Well, let's see how you get someone's blood pressure down. Oh, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. If you ever want to, you know, drop someone's blood pressure, just tear up their c*** with a Stanley Cup. Mm -hmm, but I have a heart attack. <laughs> Stupid, stupid penis. Oh, my blood pressure's too high. I've had enough of my penis. <laughs> stupid, stupid penis. Stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> I mean, what is this? I thought this was meant to be thirst traps. Not cock and ball torture. I mean, look at that Hulk smash right there. It's not often a patient leaves the hospital with more injuries than when he initially arrived. You know, I feel really weird saying this, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> But she just loves the rip content. I mean, as far as rip content does go, I mean, she absolutely loves it. Look at this one right here. POV, the combative patient asked me to sniff on those roses. Okay, puts a nice little tissue there with some drugs on it, I'm guessing. Oh, and then gets absolutely annihilated on the floor while being drugged. Taking a traumatic event, which in most cases is a woman's worst nightmare, and making it something sexy. I'm not sure how anybody could find that sexy, to be honest with you. Hilarious, pretty eyes too. Hilarious and pretty eyes as well. Yeah, I'm starting to see the funny side of it now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, what's she on about pretty eyes? Well, the eyes of possession. Oh yeah, that's some really nice pretty f up eyes you have there. Can you do those eyes while you also, you know, touch me with your strong hand? I want to try the fourth hall. Why are you guys so afraid of using the fourth hall? Sorry, fourth what? Are you asking me to nut in your ear all? It's gone from thirst trap content to absolute insanity. There's no fourth hall. Women got two halls, right? There's no, there's no fourth hall. Is it? Is there? But here's a little bit more insanity for you. She's now apparently duct taping patients' mouths before rubbing her beef curtains on their face. I mean, are you trying to kill your patients? Yeah, already I'm gonna smother you with my vagina, but just to make sure that I do actually kill you, I'm gonna put some duct tape around you as well. I mean, she's not right in the end, is she? I'm starting to convince myself that she's not a nurse of this hospital, but a patient. I mean, use her OnlyFans, which to me, it's pretty obvious that, you know, she's doing all this content just to promote her OnlyFans. She's not actually a nurse. There's no way. If she actually is, that's, that, that is completely unhinged. She's got a post here. Hi, just so you know, I do full nude content as well. However, I prefer to share that only in my DMs. So don't forget to send me a message. I mean, who on earth is going to DM this woman asking her for nudes? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Who, who would do that, Jeff? <laughs> what would you do if you saw me waiting at the door for you like this? Uh, I'd probably curb stomp you, if anything. I don't think my girlfriend would be too happy with that. Are you in need of some medical attention? Well, by chance, yes, actually. I've got arthritis in my neck, and it's slowly spreading down to my spine, and I've also yeah, got- Yeah, all right, all right, whatever. Firstly, though, I need to examine that c**k. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, pretty unhinged. Um, if we get to a thousand likes on this video, I will review that vegan teacher's daughter's OnlyFans. So if you want to see that, comment down below and leave a like. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, check out my other videos. If you enjoyed this one, I'm sure you'll enjoy the others. And let's subscribe to the channel so we can reach 100k. I'll see you all in the next one. Boosh!